In any professional setting, there are numerous occasions where one must calculate the time span between two dates. For instance, a human resources professional may need to determine how long a given employee has worked with the company, or their precise age for organizational planning. Similarly, in the automotive sector, it's essential to compute the duration it takes for a vehicle to undergo servicing, and many other work situations. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I demonstrate how to calculate date differences in years, months, or days in a single function, and visualize this difference in a simple, dynamic manner. So let's dive in. In this worksheet, I have two columns of dates, the start and end date. I can calculate the difference by subtracting the start date from the end date since the date is stored in Excel as a number. But what if I want to express this difference in years, or in months, or in combination of both of them? Then in this case, I use a function called the date difference function and is abbreviated as date diff. When I start typing equal date diff, then I don't see this function in the IntelliSense list of Excel. That means it's not getting the full support. And if I type diff, which is the abbreviation of date difference function, I don't get anything in the IntelliSense list of Excel. However, if I start typing the opening bracket, I can see a little tooltip showing the name of the function without any arguments. Luckily, if you click on the name of the function in the tooltip, it will open the classic help window where we get all the information about any function. Although this function doesn't appear in the IntelliSense list, but it's kept for backward compatibility. The date diff function, as you can read in the help, requires a start date, an end date, and a unit. How would you like to express the difference between the start and end date? You can express it in years, in months, in days, days over months, months over full year, and days over full year. I close the help window and create this function equal date diff, I select the start date, and then comma, I select the end date, comma, and the classic way is to type the unit in double quotation. So if I want it in years, then I type double quote y double quote, and I close the bracket, and I hit enter, and the difference is two years. However, I can make it a lot more dynamic by creating a drop list of the different units, and I already did that. I unhide column C, right click and unhide, and here I have a drop list showing the different units. If I click on the down arrow, I can see year, month, days, and so on. I start by selecting the year. I type an equal sign, date diff, I open bracket, and I select the start date. I know the arguments, although they don't appear in the IntelliSense list of Excel. I select the start date, I type a comma, I select the end date column, I type a comma, and then I click on the unit coming from the drop list. When I close the bracket and hit enter, this is the difference in years. I can switch from years to months, I can switch from months to days, I can switch and express the difference in days over full month, or in months over full day, or in days over full year. Let's go back and select year. If you want to see the unit next to the number, then that's easy to do. I put my function in the edit mode by hitting F2, and then after the date diff function, I type an end, the joining operator of Excel, I want a space, double quote, space, double quote, and then another joining operator of Excel, Shift 7 on your keyboard, and I click on cell C5, the drop list, where I hit enter, then I get the result, and I can see the units in years, and that's dynamic. I can change it, I can make it in month. But what if you want to visualize the difference? The most accurate difference is in days. Then I'm going to edit my function one more time. I hit F2, I delete this part that I just added with the joining operator of Excel. I hit Enter, and I have the difference in months. I'm going to change it to difference in days. To visualize this difference and simulate a bar chart, I'm going to use a repeat function, which is one of the text functions in Excel. I type equal repeat, 
and then I hit tab. What would you like to repeat? I want the pipe character. I type it in double quotation, double quote, pipe, double quote, and then I type a comma. What would you like to repeat? I want to repeat the number returned by the result of the date diff function, but because it's a spilled array, I select cell C6. I type the number sign, the spilled array symbol, and I close the bracket. And when I hit enter, I get a huge number of the pipe character. Well, I want to fix that and improve the appearance. To reduce the number of pipe characters, I can edit my function. I put it in the edit mode and I divide the spilled array by two just to reduce the number. When I hit enter, I still have a large number. But I can fix that by changing the font type to a special font that replaces the repeated pipes with a horizontal bar. I select all the range and on the home tab, I type play bill. This is the font that I want when I hit enter. Now I get a representation of the difference as a bar chart. I'm going to change it in blue and I'll be applying a conditional formatting that highlights the lowest difference in red and the highest difference in green. Here are the conditional formatting rules I created. The lowest difference appears in red, the highest difference appears in green. Instead of creating this drop list, I can visualize the difference between the start date and the end date by creating a matrix. So I can see all the units in one screen. In the next worksheet difference, I have the same start and end date and I have the units across the top. I'm going to create my single function that visualizes all this difference without the need of typing the unit. Then I type an equal sign, date diff. I open bracket. I select the start date, comma. I select the end date column, comma. And I select all the units. And when I close the bracket and hit enter, the function spills in the entire range. In this tutorial, I showed you how to calculate the difference between two dates in a dynamic way, whether by using a drop list or by creating a matrix. We also visualize the difference by creating a simulation of a bar chart. Along the way, we applied some conditional formatting. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.